little more, it adds the extra complication when the horse try to turn in and hold you on can. to the sangria. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and I'm going to take a shot. And then I'm going to track my cow and then I'm going to circle my cow up in a figure eight. And it's a really, uh, I think it's kind of a fun way for me and my horse to make a connection because when you need to cow up, meaning you need to get right up to the shoulder and control direction on your cow, uh, having that rope, even though it's a breakaway rope, connect the two of you, I think helps the horse ride to position. Take my dally, and then I'm going to ride up here and just stay out of the way as she comes towards you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to speed up a little bit, get out of the way, Kate. Get out of the way, Kate. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Howard. I use the rope as a tether to help my horse understand which cow he's focused on and helping him to maintain his position. And you can see when he checks off, On another cow, I got to pull it back in. We're just going to keep open. Try to keep it nice and relaxed. He speeds up, I have to speed him up. So I'm just going wherever she takes me. I think my riders realized this isn't a spectator sport. They had to get out of the way. That's all part of their training as arena awareness, the spatial strategy. Now we're getting a little better feel. Again, on my horse, he's hooking up a little better. And I'm going to circle her up and just... Tommy. Tom was caught spectating there. Yeah, now we're starting to ride up the shoulder. And I pop my rope off. So again, you know, you guys have to anticipate the direction of the cow. You need to be able to move out of the way and not let somebody run up behind you. That's, um, I think, pretty obvious. Okay. All right, here we go. I gotta pick my coils up, shorten my line. So that move right there is kind of tough because that was a quick change of direction. He's kind of gaining a little ground on her. We're gonna try to stay to the inside and get her to change direction. And again, there's no pressure on her. She's just running because she wants to run. But again, a good cow horse has got to be able to circle up. I'm gonna try to get a turn on the fence right here. Come back around, keep my horse connected. Out. 
good, like he's really nice. We're gonna go down the fence here again. See if we can get a stop. Turn, stay connected. Circle. Circle up. Bull's got my rope. Yeah, I will let that go. So I hope you uh, enjoyed our little entertaining the Western adventure today. We took you from roping a hay bale to actually setting up some reasonably easy shots in the round pen. And then we took it out into our bigger pen. And uh, hopefully I was able to demonstrate how to maintain the connection between you through your horse and the cow. Rolling, 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 get those doggies rolling right. Yeah!